challenge for him, but indoors he is tough to beat as the defending NCAA indoor champion, of course, three-time conference champion, and ran that collegiate best last yesterday in the heats where he went for it. He was trying to, to send a message. And in lane five, right next to Eddie Lovett, is the aforementioned Wayne Davis, who is the reigning NCAA outdoor champion. Seems to have Lovett figured out outdoors, not indoors. Well, again, it's a speed thing with him. I think he is better technically over the hurdles. And uh, from the standpoint of raw speed, I think Eddie Lovett is a little quicker. So with a shorter distance, Eddie Lovett may have a slight edge. And we're talking very, very narrow difference. Three, Florida, three, South Carolina. Final. Eddie Lovett out pretty well, but not first out. Wayne Davis has got it at this point. Now here comes Lovett, and that's the move he makes between hurdle two and five. And boy, almost slipped and fell at the line. Eddie Lovett, he does what he came here to do. He notches his fourth consecutive SEC hurdles title. And he ran up just a little slower than he did in the heats in order to accomplish it. Still a good time. Omar McLeod gets second. Wayne Davis gets edged for second by one one hundredth of a second. Watch him out of the block. Gets out cleanly. Gets out well. Sometimes hits the hurdles early. Not this time. Coach has been working with him. Put your feet down in the same spot. Drive off your lead leg. He stumbles a little bit mid-race there. Look at that. However, he gets to the finish. That was a ragged race by his standards. Another look at it. Keep an eye on Davis, who is right beside him in lane five. Davis has head motion in the sense he kind of bobs and brings his head down, not that this slows him a lot, but wow. One more hurdle, another 10 meters in that race, and it would not have been Lovitz to win, and he might have been disqualified for going out of his lane, but he, nonetheless, the finish line came 